Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about what to do when you get an unexpected pop-up that says enter parameter value and you didn't ask for that. Today's question comes from Allison in Madrid, Spain, one of my gold members. Allison says, my database has been working just fine for months. I made a few changes and now my order form is giving me this pop-up that says enter parameter value and asking for the extended price, which it's supposed to be calculating in a query. I have no idea what's wrong. Help, please. Well, Allison, whenever someone tells me they're getting the enter parameter value pop-up and Access is asking them for a parameter, 99% of the time, the problem is spelling. You got something spelled wrong. You got that extended price. You might have spelled it wrong. Maybe E-X-T-P-R-C-E, -E, forgot the I, something along those lines. It's usually a field that is spelled wrong. I'm guilty of it myself. You put it in the control source of a form or somewhere in your VBA or even in one of your queries. You just spell it wrong and Access has no idea what it's looking for. It's looking for a field of some kind or it's looking for you to type in something. If you didn't make an intentional prompt, if you're not saying, hey, enter the city, and I'll show you where it's looking for this in just a second. The other 1% of the time, you deleted a field. You might have figured, oh, I don't need this field, and you deleted it from one of your tables, but it was actually being used in a query or in a form. Now you open up that form, and it is trying to find something that wasn't the query, and now it's gone. I've done this too. One time I had a client's database, and I figured, oh, they never use middle initial. Out of like 10,000 customers, they used it for maybe three of them. So I deleted the field. Well, half their queries were looking for <laughs> middle initial, and now I was getting that pop-up everywhere. So it's either a missing field or you spelled a field name wrong. And that's most, I mean, that's 99.99999% of the time you're going to get this. Is that scientific? No, not really. That's just my personal experience. <laughs> So let me show you where you should be seeing that enter parameter value. Here's a copy of my Tech Help free template. Go download this right now if you want to. It's a free download on my website. I'll put a link in the links section down below the video. Go look for it. Let's make a query, create query design. Let's bring in the customer table. And let's say I want to see all customers from a particular state. What state? Well, the user is going to type it in when the query runs. That's called a parameter. If you've never made a parameter query before, go watch my parameter query video right now. I'll put a link down in the link section. All right, there's parameter queries. There's basic query criteria. If you've never something like done something like this, like New York, all right, that'll give you all the customers from New York, okay? But if you don't want the user to have to deal with a separate query for each state, you want the user to type in that state when the query runs, you simply put it inside of square brackets. Enter the state, just like that. That is now a parameter in a parameter query. Now when I run it, there's your enter parameter value. That's when you should see it. Access says, I got no idea what that is. That could be another field name. Okay. If it doesn't know what it is, it asks you for it. All right. I want uh, Florida, FL. Boom. There's all the people from Florida. All right. So that's when you should see it. Okay. When you've intentionally done that. Okay. Now let me close this. Don't need to save it. Okay, now here's, I actually took a look at Allison's database. All right, she was actually working with one of my other templates. We emailed back and forth for a bit and I couldn't, I, I told her something's had to be spelled wrong and she swore nothing was spelled wrong. That's okay, Allison, I've done this mistake too. I've made this mistake myself. Okay, but she had modified the order detail queue. Now what order detail queue does, okay, is it gives you the extended price by multiplying the quantity times the unit price. I cover this in my invoicing tech help video. That's free also. Go watch that. I'll put a link down below. Invoicing. All right. This is just a calculated field. All right. Design view. All right. It's right there. Extended price, quantity times unit price. And what that does is it allows the order form. Let's go to the order form here. Uh, go to a customer. Go to their orders. And you can see right there. The order form now has the extended price. And it can add that up for the order total. Okay. Now, what Allison actually did was she was adding sales tax. She added a field in here to calculate sales tax. And she said sales tax colon is equal to EXT PRCE times, I forget what her number was, 0 0.08 or something like that, 8%. Okay. Now, when the query runs, that comes up, enter parameter value. 
extended price. And she kept telling me it's asking for extended price, but extended price is already in there. Yeah, because she spelled extended price wrong. And again, I've done this myself. Don't be embarrassed. It happens, okay? And the problem was her form is based on this. So she wasn't running the query. She just opened up the form, the form ran the query to get its data, boom, and a parameter value. Okay, and it was because something was spelled wrong. All right, fix this to the correct spelling. And now, there you go. There's your sales tax. Okay. You may also see it. I'm not going to save changes there. You may also see it in this case, this order invoice queue. If I open this guy up, you get this enter parameter value. And then that crazy, strange looking thing. What is that? Forms exclamation point order F exclamation point order ID. That simply means that this query is looking for a value on that form. In other words, this order invoice queue relies on the order F to be open for it to run. Okay. So if I go into here and into orders, and then I print an invoice, okay, all of this requires that order ID to be open. The order form has to be open. All right, and if you look at the query, right click, design view, you'll see where you're at. So over here, see right there, the order ID has to be equal to forms, order F, order ID. So that form has to be open for this query to work. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the, that's 99% of the times you're going to see that enter parameter value prompt is if you type something in wrong, you deleted a field, or it's looking for a value on a form, which I consider that typing in something wrong. We'll categorize that one as misspelled, okay? <laughs> That's most of the time you're going to see that problem. Want to learn more in the extended cut? For members, I cover the query parameters dialog box, which is something that I normally don't cover in my classes, but hey, it's an extended cut. I'll also talk about how to avoid similar types of errors by compiling your VBA code. And we'll talk about errors that might happen inside of strings like SQL strings. This is all covered in the extended cut for members only. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.